the terms computer crimes and computer fraud are increasingly widely used. There are laws against them, and everyone is accountable for understanding what constitutes computer fraud and criminality. The Computer Ethics Institute has defined the Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics. Here's how these are interpreted and will discussed by presenters named Eriks Maria Dalanon, Yella May De Castro, Via Joy De Macaling, and Marje Tolentino. Commandment number one. Thou shall not use a computer to harm other people. So let's put in this way, in a simple way, prevent or avoid a way that can harm other user. Stealing information is one of an example of needed to avoid. It's identical tip. Hacking, create a coding that can copy their information is also unethical. Moment number two. That shall not interface with other people's computer work. So any application that can cause a functional computer not working like virus malicious software is unethical. Number three, thou shalt not snoop around in other people's files. So yung ibig sabihin ng statement na to, hindi dapat natin ina-access ang mga files na naka-store sa isang device or computer, lalo na kung hindi naman to sa atin or without the consent of the owner. So sa madaling salita, dapat nirespeto or ginagalang natin ang privacy ng ibang tao. Number 4, Thou shalt not use a computer to steal. Maraming useful information ang pwede nating makita sa computer, lalo na through online. Pero hindi dapat natin basta-basta kinukuha yung mga information without the consent of the owner or the creator of that content dahil maaari siyang makonsider as an act of stealing. Pwede naman tayong kumuha ng idea pero dapat i-acknowledge natin sila as the original source of that content. In fifth commandment, we should be aware on spreading false information which is wrong. Kasi sa internet, mas mabilis kumalat ang false rumors kaysa sa katotohanan. We should be mindful sa mga information na isi-share natin. In Sixth Commandment, which states that Thou shalt not use or copy software for which you have not paid. Here, we should not use them because they are intellectual product. Mayroong laws against users na magamit ng illegal copies ng copyrighted product. And in addition, so in by process of watermarking, copyright owner embedded their information into pictures sa digital format. Here in 7th commandment, thou shalt not use other people's computer resources without authorization. We should not try to bypass the authorization system, like multi-user IDs and passwords, by means of hacking, which is unethical behavior. Thou shalt not appropriate other people's intellectual output. Here in 8th commandment, we should not copy others' work because that is unethical. That work is intellectual property which is protected by copyright laws. Number 9. Thou shalt think about the social consequence of that program you write. We all know that internet can we communicate or socialize to others. So, as a responsible human or responsible person, think always the consequences you may acquire while posting or sharing. And syempre, our world is better place if everyone was engaged in a positive behavior. Number 10. Those who use a computer in a way that show consideration and respect the fact that we cannot see our interacting or kung sino man yung nasosocialize natin it doesn't mean na kailangan na natin silang basusin or hindi natin sila respect to head. We all know that respect is the key. Kung re-respectuhin mo siya, re-respectuhin ka din.